I just don't understand. We used to fish here all the time as kids, and we always caught a lot of fish. We've been here three hours and haven't caught a single fish. Two words, acid rain. The water in the lake is probably acidic from acid rain, and many types of fish are not able to survive in acidic water. Before long, acid rain may wipe out most of the fish in this lake. So the acid rain is decreasing the biodiversity within the lake's ecosystem. Yes, as the lake becomes more acidic, the numbers and types of fish, plants, and animals that live in the lake decrease. And there's nothing we can do about it? Well, to reduce acid rain, we can clean up the oil and coal power plants that cause it, or use more renewable resources, such as solar power and wind power. It's going to be sunny and warm this weekend. Let's do something outside on Saturday. Sure. Let's play tennis. I bought a new tennis racket last week. And I really want to try it out. I don't really like tennis. Let's play basketball instead. There's a court by my house. That sounds like fun. Will there be enough people to form two teams? I think so. Usually on nice weekends, a lot of people play basketball there. Great. Let's do that on Saturday. It's a beautiful day today. Let's go to the beach. That sounds great. Okay, I'll get the beach umbrella and beach chairs and put them in the car. Should I bring my surfboard? Sure. And don't forget sunscreen and sunglasses. I won't. I don't want to get a sunburn again. I love looking at the snow, but it looks cold outside. Maybe I'll stay inside today. But the sun is shining and you have a warm coat, so let's do something outside. How about we go ice skating? That sounds fun, but I don't have any ice skates. How about we go snowboarding instead? That's a great idea, but the closest place to snowboard is an hour away. Oh, well, do you want to go sledding? I have a great sled. Yes, that sounds really fun. Today is great weather to work outdoors. Okay, Dad, what can I do to help? The grass is getting tall. How about you mow the lawn? Sure. Is the lawn mower in the shed? Yes, it is. What are you going to do? I'm going to plant some shrubs around the house and then fix the fence. Okay, I'll help you after I finish mowing the lawn. Hello, Mrs. Wilson. Hi, Doctor. How are you feeling? I don't feel good. What's bothering you? I have a stomach ache and a headache. Where does it hurt? Here. Do you have a fever? No, I don't think so. Okay. Let me look at your throat. Open your mouth. Your throat's red. Does it hurt? Yes, it's sore. When did it start to feel this way? Last week. I think you have a virus. It might be the flu. I'm going to give you a prescription for some medicine. Thank you. Try to get some rest, and be sure to drink lots of water and orange juice. Hello, Marriott Hotel. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to make a reservation. Just a moment. Okay. For what date? July twenty fifth. How many nights will you be staying? Two nights. What's the room rate? Seventy five dollars a night plus tax. Would you like me to reserve a room for you? Yes, please. Your name? Nancy Anderson. Miss Anderson, how will you be paying? Visa. Card number, please. Four one nine eight two two eight nine. Three three eight eight two two eight. Expiration date? One nine two thousand and twelve. Okay. 
You're all set. We'll see you on the 25th. Kevin, what would you like to do? I don't know. Maybe watch TV. That's a good idea. We're going shopping later, so I think you should rest for a while. I don't think I want to go anymore. What do you mean? I thought you said we were going shopping. I know, but I changed my mind. I'm too tired. Well, I still have a lot of stuff to buy. When do you think we'll go? Maybe tonight. Okay. Would you mind if I use your phone? Sorry, I don't have signal. Are you kidding? I usually have really good reception here. My phone is very old, and it doesn't work very well. What if I take it outside? Yes, that's fine. It works well outside. Andrew, would you like to play a game? Okay. What kind of game? Let's play cards. Do you know how to play blackjack? Yes, that's an easy game. I don't want to play that right now. Okay. Do you remember how to play poker? I think so, but you're going to have to explain the rules to me again. Okay. Look at this piece of paper. It has all the rules on it. Okay, yes. I remember now. I think the last time we played this game, you won and I lost. Yes, that was fun. Okay, let's play. But this time I don't want to bet money. Okay, we won't bet. We'll just play for fun. Angela, come in. Happy birthday. Thanks. I can't believe you remembered that. Well, I have a calendar in my computer. It helps me remember things like that. What are you up to? I'm reading a book my cousin gave me for my birthday. Let me see. Oh, I have this book at home. I want to give you a present too. Wow, it's a guitar. I already have one, but I like this one better. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you know how to play the guitar? Yeah, I know how to play. My father taught me when I was young. Will you play it now? I want to listen to some music. Okay. Do you know this one? Yeah, I've heard that one. I could sing that song when I was in middle school. It's an old one. It makes me feel old. When I was in college, they used to play it on the radio all the time. Good evening. Hi. Do you have any vacancies tonight? Yes. The rate is fifty-five dollars. Do the rooms have internet access? We have wireless. If you have a computer, you can use the wireless network for an additional five dollars. Okay, I'd like a room, please. Would you like a smoking or a non-smoking room? Non-smoking. How will you be paying? Visa. Here you are. How many people? Two. Would you like a king-size bed or two double beds? King-size, please. You're in room two thirty-seven. It's on the second floor. Here's your key. Sign here, please. What time is checkout? Eleven thirty. Hello. How may I help you? I'd like to send this package to California. Would you like to send it overnight or by regular mail? How much is it to send it overnight? Twenty dollars. And by regular mail? Twelve dollars. I'd like it to get there tomorrow. Please fill out this form. When you are finished, come back to this window. Okay. I think I'm done. Is this correct? Yes, that's right. I'd also like to mail this letter. Do you need to buy stamps? Yes. A book of stamps costs three dollars, so that'll be twenty-three dollars for everything. Oh, I forgot my wallet in my car. I'll be right back. Patrick, why didn't you call me last night? I was worried about you. Sorry, I was sick. I went to bed early. What's wrong? I had a cough and my eyes were really dry. Are you better now? Yes, I'm feeling a lot better, much better than yesterday. 
Do you have allergies? Yes. Last time I went to the doctor, he did some tests and told me I have allergies. It gets worse in the spring. What time did you wake up this morning? Around 9.30. Are you going to work today? No. I think I'll just stay home and watch TV. I can work from home today. Good. Get some rest, and I'll bring over some food later. Thanks. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Josh. It's been a long time. Where are you working now? I work at a software company downtown. I'm an engineer. That's interesting. What kind of software do you write? It's a database for small businesses. Does your company have a website? Yes. What's the website address? www.sun.com How can I get the software? You can download it from the website. It's very popular, and it's free. Okay, I'll do that. I have to go now. It was really nice seeing you again. It was nice seeing you, too. Email me next week, and we'll get together for coffee. My computer is broken, so I can't send you email right now. Can I call you? Sure. My number is 233-288-2328. What are you listening to? I'm listening to the radio. I know that. Who are they playing? Guess. I think it's the Beatles, right? That's right. How did you know that? In my country, everyone knows who they are. They're famous. Really? Of course. My parents saw them at a concert a long time ago. Did you know that they're from England? Yes, of course. What kind of music do you usually listen to? I listen to everything, but my favorite is pop. I see. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I like her, too. She's got a great voice. Erin, are you busy? No. Why? I'm making spaghetti. Could you give me a hand? Sure. What do you need me to do? Could you chop up some onions? They're on the counter. Sure. Just let me wash my hands. Where are you going? I'm going for a walk. You'd better bring an umbrella. Why? Is it going to rain? Yeah, it's supposed to rain. Okay. Thanks. Hey, look. This jacket is 40% off. That's a good deal. Try it on. What do you think? I think it looks good on you. Really? Yeah, it makes you look young. These pants are on sale. Half off? That is cheap. Yeah, but I can't find any my size. What size are you? Size 11. They've got some 11s right here. These shirts are only $9. That's cheap, but they seem low quality. Yeah, and I don't like the colors either. They have more shirts over there. But those are a lot more expensive. But they're better quality as well. Look, they're having a sale. What kind of sale? All footwear is buy one, get one free. Do you really need new shoes? You can never have enough shoes. Let me see that ad. Are you getting those pants? I can't decide. Why don't you try them on? I think I will. Changing rooms are over there. I'll be back in a minute. Did you finish your homework? I have just finished and I want to watch more TV. You have to get up early tomorrow. Hurry up and go to sleep. Okay. Are you ready for tomorrow? Sorry, I'm going to make it up. Have you set up the alarm clock? Yes, I set the alarm for 7 o'clock just now. Make sure you brush your teeth. Brushing them regularly helps to ward off tooth decay. You have said for the tenth time. I won't forget it. Sweet dreams.
Thanks, and you too. What are you doing, Jack? I'm playing video games. Enough with your video games. It's time to go to bed. No need to go to sleep. It's still early. We'll give you a few minutes to play through. How about ten minutes? You have to get up early tomorrow morning, and you'd better turn in early tonight and get a good night's rest. I see. Okay. It's so hot. Would you like to take a bath? Sounds good. Could you run me a hot bath? Ah, I am running the bath water. Thanks, Dad. When do you take your finals? Is it two weeks before it? Did you revise the lessons before class? Not yet. Pick up your pace. It's getting late. I see, Mom. I'm just going to. Shall we go over your English exercises together? I can do it alone. You have been working for a whole day. Just go to sleep early. Don't worry about me. I'm not tired. All right then. Where is your exercise book? I cannot find it in your school bag. I have taken it out and put it onto the table. How did you do on your math examination? What a shame! I failed in this examination. What are the reasons? That exam was not very hard. As a matter of fact, I have no interest in math. Interest is the best teacher. I believe that it is most important to develop your interest. That's how I feel as well. But I can't work up any interest in it. Do you think you need to join a remedial class? Well, there is no other way. Your midterm exams are almost here. I decide to help you from this evening. What do you think of it? Thanks, mom. You are really a great mom. Who is it? It's me, Mary. Could you buzz me in? Sure, come right in. Wow, beautiful home you have here. Thank you. How nice of you. Come with us. Let me have your coat. Okay. Let me take off my shoes first. Would you please leave your bag here? Oh yeah. Please have your seat. Shall I get a drink for you? Yes, a cup of tea, please. Fine. Enjoy yourself. Thanks. Hey, Jack. Hey, Mary. I'm glad you could come. Come on, please. We are all waiting for you. Is everybody here? Tom's on his way and will be here in a moment. Sit anywhere you like, please. Okay. Suppose we wait a while. Can I watch the news on television? Of course. Will you have a drink? I'd like a glass of water, please. There are some fruits and nuts on the table. Do you like eating mango? A nice fresh mango is my favorite fruit. Then have one. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Son, what do you want for your birthday gift? I'd like to keep a pet. What pet would you like to keep? Guinea pig, parrot, rabbit, tortoise, dog, or? Can I have a Siberian husky? Okay, the husky is unequaled for stamina and endurance. I want to buy a little puppy. I promise you, you'll like it when you see. Which of you is going to walk the dog? 
It's Mary's turn to take the dog for a walk. Okay, Mary, please. Oh, by the way, when was the last time you cleaned out the dog kennel? It smells to high heaven. The exact date has escaped me. Half month ago, maybe? It needs to be well swept out. Hand it over to me. And the dog needs a bath. Carl, run the bath for the dog while Mary walks it. Okay, I'll get ready to go and shampoo him later. Shampooing them too often is not a good idea, as shampoo tends to strip the natural oils out of their coats. Then just bath the dog with clean water. What would you like to do this evening? I haven't thought it through. It's okay with TV. Let's check the TV schedule to see what's on tonight. What are the attractions? Nothing at all. Here are all the news. What's on following the news? A pop show on Channel 7, and there is a science fiction on Channel 5. I don't want to watch the news. Let me change the entertainment channel, would you? Sure. I do not watch game shows for a long time. What channel did you watch last night after I went to bed? Channel 1. I watched an English language program. Pity. There was a football match on Channel 2. Really? That's a shame. You ought to remind me of that. This program is a rebroadcast this morning. You may watch it then. Well, I think I will have to. What come on next? I want to see the horse racing. Me too. Let's watch it together.